It's so effective when it's done properly, but most people don't do it properly because they can't physically take themselves to that point. Now, to do it properly, you do need to take yourself to that point of complete exhaustion, okay? And this needs to be repeated. So it's not something, a HIIT training session is not where you get on a treadmill and you run for a minute and you stop for a minute. You run for a minute and you stop for a minute. You might be able to do that for 30 minutes. If you were training in a HIIT style properly, you, knew you can be completely exhausted in 10 to 15 minutes, okay? That's HIIT, it's high intensity and it's short. It's a short, high intensity workout. For it to be effective, it needs to be complete, all out, 100% energy use for that short period. 45 to 90 seconds max, okay? Then you can take your rest. And that rest period can be double that time, sometimes longer. It depends on how long it takes for your heart rate to come back down to that basal level. You're never gonna get it down to resting, but down to that basal level where before you spike it again, you're at a semi-rested point. That's how you perform your HIIT training, okay? Your HIIT cardio, you know, your HIIT aerobics, stuff like that. You take your, your, your heart, le heart rate and your energy level to that max, okay, for that short period. You hold it for that short period, then you bring it back down again and you repeat this. If you do that effectively, there's no way that you can perform it for 30 or 40 minutes, where, as you can doing the odd one minute run on a treadmill, one minute stop, one minute run, one minute stop. Okay, that's how you do a, a proper effective HIIT workout. If you do want to try it, you can come and see me and I'll take you through it. Remember, whatever you choose to do, keep it effective.